It's one of the more unlikely places you'd expect to find a school. Who are you? He asked firmly, and what do you want? Let alone a private school. Okay, so you double this number? For some of Regina's most needy kids. Now you put the 84 there. It's been a challenge, but it's also been a real, um, you know, source of enjoyment for us, too. For 12 years, Morning Star Christian Academy has run out of this old church building. It takes love and money to run a school like this. And at Morning Star, pastor and acting principal Glenn Povey says they've got one of them. It's always a struggle, yeah, always a struggle, but we've always been able to manage. You see, Povey never saw himself running a school in one of Regina's poorest neighborhoods. It just kind of happened. The congregation who worshipped here at the time wanted something more for their kids, and Povey couldn't say no. This was a side of the king they never knew existed. In the last 12 years, the school has grown from 14 to 45 students. The tuition is modest, but still many families whose kids are here can't even afford that. But room always seems to be found. We have a, a group called Friends of Morningstar, and they've been helping us to raise money to cover the tuition. For as much good as it does in North Central, the Academy still has challenges. Along with money issues, it's been broken into 10 times since first opening, the latest this past weekend. Yeah, nice empty desk. One of the computers, named Conan by the students, has gone missing. But the students and staff who come here almost every day say it's all right. Once again, they'll get by with what they have. The novelty is worn off. <laughs> After all, it's worked out okay so far. For Global News in Regina, this is Ross Neitz reporting. And the kids seem to sure enjoy it. Well, it's what most of us depend on. Most and the others buy donations and tuition fees if parents can afford to pay. We've been able to have uh, numbers of graduates over the years, and they've done well. Like we have a, we set a higher academic standard than in a normal school system. No small feat in a community struggling with poverty and crime, problems that reach into the classroom in many ways. But we're hoping to make a difference. I mean, these children, uh, the future of this area is really in these children. If they can uh, grow up with a whole different value system, they can really make a difference in the area. Which is why Glenn Povey considers this break-in a small setback and a much bigger struggle, one he hopes everyone can learn from. Lachlan Medill, CBC News, Regina.